very uncommon condition. This one here, I give it a, an appraised value of about $200. 65 million years to get 200 bucks. A&A Storage Wars has been running for over the past decade, and with this comes the inevitable decline in interest over the many seasons that have aired. With the drama that has come out since the show's inception, including lawsuits, breast augmentation surgery, and A&E firing fan favorites, it's not a surprise to most loyal fans that the viewership has plummeted. So make sure to leave a like, hit subscribe, and see if you agree with what we put at number one. Number 10. The Foundation of the Show No matter how you state it, the premise behind the Storage Wars franchise is nothing but a dark story, as cast members are essentially bidding on belongings that are owned by another person. While no details regarding the circumstances of the lockers are ever revealed, it is important to note that previous owners of the storage lockers most likely stumbled into financial issues, simply forgot they owned a storage unit, or even worse, died before any further arrangements could have been made. The cast could be potentially sorting through the belongings of another person that could have died, and never left any information about the storage lockers for friends or even family. It almost feels as if the show is based around the idea of stealing, which is a rather harsh foundation to build a show on. Number 9. Dave Hester's Lawsuit While it is evident to most fans that not everything on reality TV is completely real, one of the fan favorites, Dave Hester, claimed that producers were heavily modifying the reality of the show and ended up filing a lawsuit against them, making claims that producers purposely filled lockers with valuable items, as well as appraising the value of them weeks before the shoot. It makes sense why Dave feels that A&E is lying to fans. Filling a locker with valuable items beforehand to make for a more interesting show could make sense, but the fact that they act like such finds as pirate treasure are real makes the show seem kind of deceptive. And while not every locker was said to have been tampered with, even if they lied once or twice, it still ruins the illusion to most viewers. Number 8. A&E's Lack of Transparency After Dave Hester left, he leaked information that A&E was planning on firing Daryl Sheets and Dan and Laura Dotson. These are some of the most liked people that were on the show, and after an extended amount of episodes without them, A&E was forced to make a statement. Instead of telling people that they were planning on letting them go, because of all the backlash they received from Dave Hester's insider information, they stated that not every cast member could be put on every episode, and there would be a time where some wouldn't be on for a while. Dave said that this was absolutely false, citing that he heard a and state that they were being paid too much and that it wasn't worth having them on anymore. This lack of honesty took a toll on viewership and made people feel like they shouldn't trust A&E anymore due to the games they had been playing. Number 7. A&E Paid For Breast Augmentation Surgery While you may think it's just a stereotype, we are shown by this situation that sleazy Hollywood executives are still alive and well in the 21st century. Thanks to Dave Hester's lawsuit, we have learned that not even the cast of Storage Wars is safe from these sleazy higher-ups. During the lawsuit, Hester revealed some insane details about a particular female cast member, Brandy Pesent. According to Hester, he claims that original productions paid for Brandy to undergo plastic surgery in order to enhance her breasts. Hester stated that the surgery was conducted in order to increase the show's sex appeal and boost her popularity among the predominantly male audience. Number 6. The Changing Cast Having survived the cancellation of so many seasons, there are many cast members that have left the show since season 1. Faces like Barry Weiss, Mark Bolello, Mark and Matt Harris, and more have not been seen since season 1 of the show. While it can be argued that since people like Dan and Laura Dotson and Dave Hester have still been in most seasons, that is enough stability, this has definitely turned some fans away. Number 5. Jared's Past The showbiz industry is filled with stories of stars who have had the perfect rags-to-riches stories. Jared seems to have taken notes, because much of who he is now was not him when he was younger. If you happen to watch all episodes of Storage Wars, you might have observed Jared indicate a dark past. As it occurred, he was in prison for more than a year in 2000 for breaking the law numerous times. When he was still young, Jared had done almost any crime you can think of, from DUIs to narcotics. Number 4. Is it cancelled? With the latest season having aired in 2019, and with no sign of recording taking place anytime soon, it makes you wonder if A&E is even interested in continuing the series, as well as A&E's interest. When looking at the people that regularly appear on the show, you may start getting worried. Dave Hester has recently had a brush with death when he faced a serious stroke in November of 2019, and he's not the only one with health issues. Daryl Sheets posted to social media that he had a serious heart attack following a Justin Timberlake concert. On Instagram, he asked fans for prayers, and he came through surgery okay, but admitted that he was not 100%. He even spoke of the possibility of being retired. Time will tell if the cast are even interested in having another season.
Number 3. 50% of it is scripted. While most people know that parts of reality TV need to be scripted, the extent of it is usually kept under wraps, but not for Storage Wars. The cast you thought you knew, through the seemingly personal interviews throughout the show, aren't actually using their own words. Much like other reality shows, Storage Wars is scripted, with approximately 50% of what characters are saying being given to them by writers, according to show creator Tom Beers. The infamous one-liners and the overall attitudes that made you fall in love with your favorite cast members may have just been memorized lines. The the craziest part is that the cast members of Storage Wars could very well have a completely different personality than their on-screen persona. Number 2. More of Hester's Claims Hester has also made claims that A&E has been doing some under-the-table deals with lots of cash with specific bidders. Apparently, when some people couldn't afford to bid high enough, A&E would fund specific people to make sure they had enough money to afford the bidding. In the scheme of things, this meant that A&E would only make some of the cast members pay for their own lockers, while giving others the money for them. This is a very odd thing to do, and a claim that offended many longtime viewers. When Hester learned about this, he instantly asked the producers not to give him any unfair advantages, but in the end it hurt him by giving him less interesting finds in his episodes, making him look like a less lucky cast member than others. Number 1. Barry was already rich For Jared, Brandy, and numerous other members of the cast of the show, storage hunting is their primary source of living. They sort through every single item hidden in the pile of junk to generate as much money as they can possibly make. In contrast, Barry ignores the rest of the rubbish in search for only that single exceptional piece. A lot of that has to do with the fact that Barry was already a successful business tycoon prior to his appearance in Storage Wars, but you may not have known that. Barry Weiss currently has an estimated net worth of 10 million. The Storage Wars star and businessman also has a house in Beverly Hills with four massive bedrooms. He's also former chairman of RCA Jive Label Group, Universal Republic Records, and the Island Def Jam Music Group. As well as this, Barry also owns a fleet of luxurious cars including a 1946 Cadillac, Beatnik 1955 Ford, 1940 Ford COE truck among others. That concludes this video. Thanks for watching Film Trip. What do you think of our list? Which number on our list was your favorite? Be sure to drop all opinions in the comment section below. Also, like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't, and lastly, hit that bell icon.